for any new uh, viewers, new subscribers, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, here's the cookbook. I'll let Mama show it to you. Yeah, it's got me and one of my chickens on it. And it says, my mama's secret recipe and love. And that's what my secret recipe is, love. With gravy, it's coffee. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, then we got we open it up. It's got a plastic binding on it. It's made with um, some kind of shiny paper. It's like a laminated it. almost. Yeah, laminated almost. And there's a story how me and uh, Corey got started in uh, cooking on the YouTube it started with my chickens, and it's got pictures of uh, me and little miss, and me and Corey, and this is Corey when he was a baby with Papa and with me, and there's me and Milton when we started our Sunday message. We done it outside last summer, and uh, we had a hot dog um, community giveaway uh, down at our church, and uh, these were the people that helped me and Corey, and uh, then the rest of it here. Uh, it tells the main dishes in it, what all we have in it. You see right here, so. My mama's secret recipe. This tells the um, index of it. I can't read them little ones. Yeah, it's it uh, main dishes, side dishes, and desserts. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on it. But then you just go over through here and, and it uh, shows the main dishes and going over tells you the desserts and stuff, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's just got our recipes in it. Right here is a side dish. This is the, can't read the little writing. It's cat head biscuit recipe. Oh, cat head biscuits. That's my cat head biscuits. That's what the, one of the men called my biscuits in church because I made them so big. And uh, it's got... Um, it's got almost 100 recipes. I think it's got 98 recipes in it. That's why I was going to look on that uh, and see. There's 98 pages, so it's probably close to 98 recipes. Yeah. Because some of the pages are not recipes. You can tell them how many pages on each one. Yeah, it goes, uh, there's, from 9 to 44 is main dishes, 47 to 70 is side dishes, and then 73 to 98 is desserts. So that's our cookbook. And we're selling them for $30 a piece. Uh, and uh, we'll pay the shipping. We send yeah. it out to y'all and we'll pay the shipping. We throw a tea and a few other extra things in there like cards and bookmarkers and stuff. We put in there extra with it and we pay the shipping and any uh, shipping cost. So it's just $30 for the book and that's it. Yeah. And you could send it in PayPal. Here's the information here. If you wanted to order one, then you could send it to the P.O. Box here. You could send money order, a check, cash, whatever you want to send. That's up to you, but you send it to this P.O. box and make sure to put your address on the inside of the card so yeah. we can read your address and we'll send it out to you the next day after we get it. And if you don't have uh, that stuff, if you don't have a way to send it like that, then, and you have PayPal or Cash App, if you want to send it this way, that's fine too. You could send it to this PayPal or this Cash App. And as soon as we get it, make sure to put your uh, address in the order whenever you send the money through cash app or paypal you could put your address there and we'll send it out i'll picture it and we'll send it out as soon as we get it hello everybody here's my mama and she's going to be making her famous zucchini bread for y'all today and it's an old-fashioned recipe because she's been making it as long as i can remember and here's all the ingredients everything that you'll need it has uh, quite a few ingredients but as long as you can follow along you should be able to make it too but i'll let her walk you through it step by step and show y'all how she makes it did you know what he called me? Old fashioned. <laughs> old fashioned mama making her old fashioned zucchini. Did I say that? <laughs> you, I thought I said old fashioned uh, zucchini recipe, but. Yeah, you said because she's been doing it as long as I can remember. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, this is my zucchini bread. Like he said, it's, it's, it's famous with my girls. They like it. Um, every Christmas, they have to have my zucchini bread. You know, my friend Sharon, which she's going to be here Friday. So uh, she uh, most time gives me my uh, zucchini in the summertime. But I bought mine today. I, bought, I went to uh, Aldi's and we got me, Milton got me some zucchini. And I'm going to be showing you what we do with this. I'm going to cut it up too. But uh, first Here's thing. The one's already filled. Yeah, Ben's already cut. So and I didn't get my knife. Let me get my knife. 
these zucchinis is uh, the same as this, but they're already peeled. Paper plate. We dirty enough dishes without having to dirty more, don't we? But I use paper plates a lot around here when I can. But anyway, I get my zucchini. And uh, you don't have to peel it, you just have to wash it. But uh, I peel mine, I like mine peeled. Now, uh, you can, either way you want to do it, but uh, I peel mine. I like it better peeled. So, yeah, every year I have to make this for my girls. And you can make it any way you want to. You can make it raisin and cinnamon. You can make it walnut bread, apple cinnamon bread, chocolate chip bread, and that's what the girls like. Or uh, peanut butter chip bread or peanut butter and chocolate chip, which would be Reese. And uh, they like the chips in it, the chocolate chips and things in it. It's what they like. Yeah, and that's what she's gonna be making for y'all today is the chocolate chip, and here's yeah. the chips that she's using. I'll be making the chocolate chips today. Semi-sweet. Now, I like the raisin and cinnamon bread myself. So, and we're gonna be doing our, uh, using our, uh, um, shredder that uh, somebody got me and all you need is two um, uh, cups of zucchini to put in here so let's see if we can get this done here I have to lock it I'm almost not strong Corey okay let's see what we can do we ain't doing is it it might be that thing is not uh, made to grate it that. I thought that was a grater down. Um, let me look and see if I got the grater. I thought I'd done enough cheese in it yesterday. I should have checked it good. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. I should have checked it good. Sorry for the complications. This grater thing is just not working on it for some reason. Uh, this one's going to be a pretty long video, so I hope y'all's in for the long haul because yeah. we're just getting started and it's already uh, four minutes in. Yeah. Oh, we... Cutting. Well, I guess we'll cut the video and we'll be back start with y'all. Yeah, we might have to start the whole video over, but we love y'all. We'll be right back, maybe. Yeah. All right, we're back. We figured it out. Uh, we was just spinning the thing the wrong, wrong direction. Yeah. You know, uh, I have to learn these things, you know. That's old timers. We ain't used to these fangled things. <laughs> I'm supposed to have a thing to smash down in there so you don't gotta put your hand down in there. Yeah, I don't see it though. Yeah, I don't know where that's at either. We just had it like yesterday. Well, we're, I'm gonna do two cups and then I'll, uh, I'll do the rest of them later. Cause this is going to make a lot of the cakes. Yeah, that's one cup there. Yeah. See, now's when you need that one thing to stick it down in there to uh -huh. smash it in. Yeah. I put it. I put it in the box and put it up, and I don't know what I've done with it. But this is one cup right here. You know, when you get old, you do things like that. You forget. And this thing don't want to lock because it's dirty on the bottom and we're going to have to try to clean it up. You know, one lady, one lady told me it was, uh, give me another cucumber up there. Uh, I mean, a zucchini. So. Just give us time to work it all out, y'all. But it does do good, doesn't it? 
Yeah. We've grated the cheese. Now we're doing zucchini. And I'm just gonna do two cups and then I'll do my other one later. Yeah, and this is for two uh, zucchini breads. Yeah, this will make two, this right here. This recipe will make two cakes. Okay, I'm gonna set this over. We don't even look dirty, but maybe I just ain't doing it right. I don't know if y'all was just gonna make one of them, but then you could half in the recipe, like one cup of zucchini. Yeah. But this uh, is two cups, because there's gonna be two pans. Yeah, that's what my um, uh, recipe calls for. Yeah, my friend usually gives me all my stuff and it says, all my zucchinis in the summertime. And it says, put all the dry ingredients together. I took my glasses off, didn't I? So we're gonna put our flour in. And this is uh, three and a half cups of flour. Up there, them red ones up top. Three and a half cups of flour is what we put in there. So let's put all the dry ingredients in first. Then we do, and of course, we have to say, we do the self-rising Hudson cream flour. Yeah, really, we shouldn't be saying that at all because they're yeah. not gonna sponsor but us. I've, I've called them, uh, I've been thinking about writing them a letter, see if they would sponsor us because I use this all the time and we uh, done made how many videos and we've had this in a lot of them. Yeah, from now on, we're just gonna have to say uh, flour. <laughs> we can't yeah. talk about the brand because they know that they're getting free advertisement anyways. Yeah. Okay, we got the zucchini. Uh, now it's two and a half cups of sugar. You put this in here. And now... So two and a half cups of sugar, three and a half cups of flour. Yeah, and two cups of zucchini. And then you kind of stir them in here a little bit. And then we're going to start putting the wet uh, ingredients in there. I like the way this shred. I like it better than my big processor. It's too big and bulky. I like this little one here. So um, now we gotta put in one cup of vegetable oil. So, well, here's my vegetable oil. And this is one cup. One cup of vegetable oil. And then we're going to put our three eggs in. And you can this use any type of eggs. This uh, dough hook. But these are farm fresh eggs here. Yep, these are farm fresh eggs. Yeah, sometimes we get on here and we forget what we're doing. <laughs> we need to practice a little bit sometimes. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. And we mix all this up together. And it will make two uh, pans of cake. And I thank y'all, whoever sent me these, they come in handy. Mine was old and rugged and greased up. And, uh, and then y'all sent me some new ones. And uh, I thank you for them. My bowls, y'all just so good. When we first started, we didn't hardly have anything and everybody started sending this stuff, and I appreciate it. I thank you. you know. and then you take um, vanilla flavor, and you use two tablespoons. Now, if it's it wasn't for y'all, we wouldn't be able to do these videos at all. Yeah, I know. That's true. It really is. I didn't have none of these. I just used a regular spoon. I eyeballed it. That's what I do, and I eyeballed it. That's two tablespoons. Yep, two tablespoons of vanilla, three eggs. So we got two cups of shredded uh, zucchini in here, one cup of vegetable oil, two and a half cups of sugar, three eggs, three and a half cups of self rising flour, two tablespoons of vanilla. And you mix all this up until you get it all good and mixed up. These hooks are excellent, really, for dough and cakes and and really for this. Cause uh, I used to have a time with this, but this is doing so good. Yeah, we uh, I think we had one skillet when we started, 
Didn't have no fancy pretty dishes at all. Caster didn't have no casserole dishes. And y'all just blessed us so. Yeah, so. now we got so many casserole dishes, we gotta yeah. use a different one for every video. We try not to use the same one over and over yeah. and over. We mix it up for different videos. We use different dishes. Yeah, and this is it right here now. This is about what you'll get. This is the end product of the, the mix, at least. Yeah. So you get it all mixed up real good. And I love all of it, really. I usually have my freezer full. What about the chocolate chips? Oh, the chocolate chips. Thank you, Corey. See, it takes several of us working together. I start talking, I forget. I take the whole bag of chocolate chips and put it in here. I think that's uh, two cups, maybe. It's, uh, I can see how many ounces it is. It's 12 ounces. And my other zucchini that I'll make at Tawa sometime, I'll probably make apple and cinnamon with them because I like apple and cinnamon bread. I don't have no peanut butter chips. Them is the hardest thing to find is the peanut butter chips. Uh, and most of the time they used to have the Reese's. Now they're real good. So now we're gonna spray our pans and it has to be on 350 for one hour. So preheat your oven. And I'm gonna do that real good. So 350 in the oven for one hour. Yep, for one hour. So let's put this over here. And I'm gonna take my other spoon to scrape it in there with. And you put half in this. And it will shoot up there. Yeah, it'll fluff up all the way to the top, be almost overflowing probably. And one recipe makes two pans. And if you want to just make one pan, you have to cut it in half. And that is it. I like the way these spoons really scrape the you get everything out yeah it's silicone so it doesn't uh, stick to the spoon at all it just comes right off of it and you're gonna get all your stuff and of course you know what mom says one two three. one two three. <laughs> that's what mom all mom always done that and then we're gonna put it in here on 350 put it in the oven 350 for one hour. So now we're gonna go over here, clean the table off a little bit. I usually do this at the last of it, but we're gonna do it now. Yeah, we're gonna switch it up for this one a little bit and uh, try to do it in the middle, and then we're gonna cut and come back whenever the zucchini bread is done. Yeah. I'm gonna show you all this because there's a lot of times that y'all request in the comments for me to show the recipe if it's written down. And here's the recipe that's written down. At the bottom or in the middle is all the options of like different things you could put in there. You could put walnut, apple, cinnamon bread, chocolate chip, peanut butter chip, peanut butter and chocolate chip, raisins and cinnamon. There's so many different uh, versions of it that you could make. And you but might have to think of some other. And now we're going to read. And if you didn't see it very well, you could pause it on the video and you could take a picture of it or write it down or whatever you want to do with it. You know, uh, I'm thinking I might have that in my first uh, cookbook. I'm not really sure. I can't remember what all was in there. But, I think uh, it might be in there. In the see cookbook. me like it is in the cookbook. And uh, we're getting some more cookbooks. And uh, when I get my new one fixed up, it'll probably be around Christmas time, probably around November or something like that. But anyway, 
Today, I'm going to be reading in Job, the first chapter in Job. This is the Old Testament. And it talks about Job is tested. This is just a little headline here. It says, Job is portrayed as a wealthy man of upright character who loves God. Yet God allows Satan to destroy Jacob's flocks, his possessions, his children, and his health. Job refuses to give up on God. Even though he does not understand why this is happening to him, we too must trust God when we do not understand the difficulties we face. And that's so true, you know. We don't understand everything, but God does. And I sure don't want to say no to God or give up on him when hard times and tough times come. There's a reason for everything, and he always brings us through it. Uh, chapter 1, it says, There was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright and one that feared God and eschewed evil. And there was born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance also was 7,000 sheep and 3,000 camels and 500 yoke of oxen and 500 she asses and a very great household, so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the east. And his sons went and feasted in their houses every one his day and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. And it was so, when the days of their feasting was gone about, that Job sent and sacrificed, sacrificed them, and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. Yeah, he went and made offerings for them, so if they sinned or something, God, that God would forgive them. It says, For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned, and cause God in curse God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. Um, now the first test of Job was this. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Which comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? And there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God, and issued evil. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doeth Job fear God for naught? Hast, thou, hast not thou made a hedge about him, and about his house, and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth thy hand now, and touch all that he hath, and he will Curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in that in their elder's brother's house. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them and the I don't know what that is, Sabians, fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of God is fallen from heaven and hath burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The Chaldeans made out three bands and fell upon the camels and have carried them away, yea, and slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came one and also another and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house, and behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb and naked shall return thither. The Lord gave and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. Now I'm going to tell y'all a little secret. I had something else to read y'all. This was going to be my message for Monday. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all got it today. <laughs> you got a little sneak peek for Monday. You got a sneak peek of Monday. So that was it right there. <laughs> uh, so the next video, she'll read what she had 
that was made for this video. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm going to go in more study, more depth with this Monday. I just read that and I said, oh, I'm going to go in depth on that and I'm going to do that for Monday. And then I had, um, I had a Psalms for y'all. But we'll do that the next time. <laughs> I love y'all and we'll be back in a minute to show you my cake. Yeah, we'll be back with y'all in just a minute. Love y'all. Yes, we do. All right, we're back, y'all. This is the finished product. This is what it looked like after it's completely done. And they've been in there for an hour at 350 degrees. And if you want to, you can uh, drizzle them with powdered sugar, make the white, or you can even drizzle the chocolate, or you could just ice in them. Yeah, and Momo has our homemade glaze. If y'all want to see how she makes her homemade glaze, you could find it on the recipe or the list, it, it's a playlist. It says, My Mama's Secret Recipes. See how the chocolate chips looks in the bottom? The oven cooks a little bit uneven. It was a little yeah. bit more dark on one side than the other. But it's still done. And it comes out of these pans easy. Yeah, as long as you butter them or, or spray them. Spray them, yeah. If you don't spray them, they'll get stuck in there. And what I do is I take... Uh, Aluminum foil, and I wrap them up real good, and I write on it um, what they are, and I put them in my freezer, and I keep them until my girls come down, and then they take them home with them. Yeah, and they last a long time in the freezer. You can yeah. put them in the freezer, they'll last months. Yeah, I, use, I usually have them in my freezer for at least a year when yeah. the kids come down and start getting them. But, uh, yeah, and when you get them out of the freezer, they are still fresh, it seems like. Yeah, but make sure they're all cooled down before you wrap them up. Yeah, or it'll steam so, and they'll get uh, yeah. soggy. Yeah. But so they has, are some, yeah, I cut one of them. Yeah, they have to be completely uh, Let me see, cooled off. It's a little off. bit cold. I mean, it's a little bit warm here. So we, I'm just going to go ahead and cut one and let you see what it looks like. Make sure it's cut all the way through. And that's the chocolate chips in it. And it is good. It's a perfect thing to have with a glass of milk. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. It's amazing with a glass of milk. So get you some zucchini. And, and it is in my cookbook. So yeah, you so learn book. If you have the cookbook, then you could find the recipe in there. Yeah. And... uh. Uh, Mama said earlier in the video that she ordered, a, or that we're going to order another batch of cookbooks. So I'm going to start putting them in the videos again. I'm going to put the cookbook section that explains how to order one if you want to order one. Yeah. I'll put that at the beginning or at the middle or in the end of each video now. Yeah. Since we got another batch on the way. Yeah, so that's it for this time. Hope y'all enjoyed our reading. You got, like Corey said, you got a little uh, peek preview what I'm going to be doing Monday. Yeah, a little sneak peek. <laughs> so we love y'all. God bless y'all. Well, that's all for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll leave a comment. Share us to Facebook or anywhere you want to share us to. Yeah. And uh, check out the merch shop. The link is in the description of this channel. And I guess that's all for this one. We love y'all. God bless y'all. And we'll see y'all in the next one.